gun. Noun. Portable firearm. This device was widely utilized in the urban wars of the late 20th century. Referred to as a pistol. A Look, piece. I don't need a history lesson. Come on, Hal! We're gonna boost gun safety technology. If we can set it up so you can't unlock your phone unless you got the right fingerprint, why can't we do the same thing for our guns? Where the goddamn guns? You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. What? Fuck you! Your repeated violation of the verbal morality statute has caused me to notify the San Angeles Police Department. Please <laughs> remain where you are for your own time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuckers are fast, too. You are fine. One credit for violation of the verbal harassment. Protect serve in place. Four minutes, 15 seconds lapsed. Maniac is imminent. Request advice. With a firm tone of voice, demand Maniac lie down with hands behind back. Simon Phoenix, lie down with your hands behind your back. What's this? Six of you, such nice, tidy uniforms. Oh, I'm so scared. What, you guys don't have sarcasm anymore? Maniac has responded with a scornful remark. Approach and repeat ultimatum in an even firmer tone of voice. Add the words, or else. Simon Phoenix! <sighs> Lie down on the ground, or else. Now at seven, police robots with the potential for deadly force. The SFPD policy just considered by San Francisco supervisors allowing robots to kill suspects in certain critical situations. There's been a lot of talk about RoboCop or, you know, which I think sets, you know, a whole lot of minds going to a whole lot of different places. This is KTVU Fox 2 News at 7 on KTVU Plus. And that controversial plan just passed about an hour ago in an 8 to 3 vote. Welcome everyone to The 7 here on KTVU Plus. I'm Alex Savage. And I'm Greg Lee. Those police robots will be allowed to use potentially deadly force. The plan's drawn criticism from civil liberties advocates. KTVU crime reporter Henry Lee reports. San Francisco police asking for approval by the Board of Supervisors to use robots like this one as a potential deadly force option. That means military-grade machines operated by trained officers could potentially kill suspects during critical incidents. Anti-graffiti activation program activated. Aborted. Human presence detected. Safety override code accepted. Lucky number seven. Oh! We're police officers. We're not trained to handle this kind of violence. Hey, wait for me! You know, there's been a lot of talk about RoboCop or, you know, which I think sets, you know, a whole lot of minds going to a whole lot of different places. But this is 
this is not that. San Francisco Supervisor Rafael Mandelman supports using robots for specific life-threatening cases. In fact, I think it would be irresponsible not to make some kind of plan to use that technology in that horrific eventuality. It's really just opening a window that eventually somebody's going to want to crawl through. Matthew um, Goriglia, a policy analyst with the Electronic Frontier Foundation, says it doesn't make sense to give robots the ability to kill. We are going to lessen the burden of, of using deadly force from having to pull a gun and, and pull the trigger to a button on a remote control. SFPD already has 17 robots, and none of them have live ammunition. But the department is considering using a robot with explosives attached as a way to get into a building with violent armed suspects barricaded inside. In a statement, SFPD said in part, while an explosive charge may be considered an intermediate force option, it could potentially cause injury or be lethal. Robots equipped in this manner would only be used in extreme circumstances to save or prevent further loss of innocent lives. The discussion in San Francisco comes just a month after the Oakland Police Commission decided against a policy that would have allowed OPD to use robots with shotguns. In Dallas, a robot armed with explosives was used by police to kill a man suspected of shooting and killing five police officers in 2016. Transport the robot to the scene. Supervisor Hillary Ronan spoke out against authorizing lethal force for robots, saying she thinks this is an incredibly dangerous route to go. Look at you. While Boston Dynamics show off their robots dance moves, others turn similar looking devices into dystopian killing machines. Much like their flesh-made cousins, robot dogs do not lack attention on the internet. Many have seen the footage of Spot, a high-tech quadruped developed by the US-based company Boston Dynamics, flaunting its dance moves. However, the latest addition to the robot dog content stream looks like something out of a science fiction movie. Twitter user Sean Chiplock shared a video of someone in Russia firing a gun from a quadruped robot. While the robot doesn't seem to handle recoil very well with the gun on burst fire mode, switching to a semi-automatic setting allows the robot to hit targets without moving around too much. Even though the post's author discusses robots that Boston Dynamics make, the one seen in the video is not made by the American company. As Sean Gallagher, a senior threat researcher at Sophos points out, the robot dog is of Chinese origin. However, the robot in the video has patches on its surfaces with insignia associated with the Russian military, a Russian flag on one side and what seems to be a wolf, which Russian special forces use. Fears that robot dogs will be used against humans have been vocal for several years. Most notably, a TV series called Black Mirror dedicated a whole episode called Metalhead to the device in 2017. The plot follows a group of humans hunted by a robot dog. We've lost every camera for six blocks. Go to Century City, 1200 millimeters. going for the vehicle's battery core. It's pure capacitance gel. I got it. I understand you're super tech mills. You don't need to do all this humping shit. Help me out with my boss. We're all a bunch of cavemen, huh? Not all of you, Sergeant. Good. 
<laughs> I like that. I've got your six. Whoa. Bills. No, 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 wait a minute. This is Drifter. <sighs> you picked up some surveillance. Same here. Someone's got a new toy. Harbinger you make this? Yes. But this one's been modified. It's quantum robotics. There's no operator. Quantum. One knot and everything in between. Yes, that's right. I read. Doesn't mean I understand what I'm reading. It's autonomous. All that power and to get it to follow Goodwin's dumbass through the forest. So, you high up at Harbinger? Yes. Can I get a job? I just lost mine. I know. At least they know we're here. Let's keep moving. Mills, game time. Let's go. Take a look. What do we got this time? What does it look like? Midnight, Quantum Laboratories, well-guarded home of America's most secret scientific inventions. Huh? Boy, the absent-minded professors around here. Forgetting stuff. But that's what Lost and Found is for. Can make them army of defense. 
I'm worried, Professor. Perhaps Torque 3 is too smart for mere men to control. We must continue the pursuit of knowledge, Paul. But Torque 3 is potentially capable of controlling the whole world. What if the wrong people got control of him? Man's future depends on the development of sophisticated machines. Torque is the first machine that can build other machines. Robot welders, robot constructors, robot controlled doors, even robot file cabinets. Hmm. Why is your house so much nicer than mine? I didn't realize how late it was. We should go home and get some sleep. Perhaps you're right. You'll probably feel better about our work in the more. What the? This isn't supposed to happen. I'll call maintenance. Maintenance can't help you, Dr. Gates. I control Quantum Labs now. Torque has seized command? But how can that be? Find anything metallic, Professor. Ballpoint pens, paper clips, and hurry. What are you doing? Rebuilding the Visiphone for long distance transmission. We've got to get help. Bringing into formation. Well done, sir. Watch the cross breeze. It's gonna get bumpy. Sir, I'm above quadrant 451 vector niner. Copy that. Now, gently together now. 30 seconds. Alright, pay him up. Copy that. Light him up. Moving to targeting mode. Copy that. Coordinates are locked. Okay, ready to commence fire. Let's see payload in five, four, three, two. What the? What's going on? What the hell's going on? Did you just do that? No, and I'm locked out. What the hell's going on? I can't get it back. Where are the drones? Major, I... We'll find them! We have a serious problem. In 
has begun. Major, re relocated the drones. Where are they? Five, four, three, two, mark. Sir, there's a missile head right towards us. have been killed and found shortly, but make no mistakes the president about this for years. The military-industrial complex and the military tower went off the force with the military near the Decepticon Undersea Headquarters. They carry a vast energy supply, Optimus Prime. My olfactory sensors detect a rat named Megatron. Incoming message from Quantum Labs. Emergency frequency. Optimus Prime, thank heavens I've reached you. What's wrong, Dr. Gates? Our supercomputer, Torque 3. Someone's ordered his programming. Torque seems to have taken control of all the machines in the compound. Hang on, Paul. We won't let you down. But if the Deceptive Creeps are collecting all that oil, shouldn't we nail them first? But our human friends with Quantum are in danger. The whole world will be in trouble if those tankers aren't stopped. At least let me check it out. Hmm. Affirmative. Skyfire, take Hound there. Roger, Optimus Prime. Let me go too, Optimus. Very well, Spike. Autobots, transform. <laughs> My firepower will destroy those miserable Autobots. Driving themselves! Stand clear, Wheeljack! Great shooting, Optimus Prime! Stop those armored vehicles! Good grief. More bad news. This isn't one of our shining days. The tires! Aim for the tires! 